Hello world, it's Vagabond here and welcome to my brand new video. I'm filming this intro being in Uvak Canyon in Serbia. Look at this lovely panorama. These are the meanders of Uvak River. But what I'm going to do in this video is to try to visit one of the most peculiar geographical locations in Serbia. I'm talking about the small piece of land which is actually a part of Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is basically the exclave of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's called Medjurecia. So it's a small settlement situated within the borders of Serbia. It is entirely surrounded by Serbia, but it technically belongs to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Okay, so I have just arrived to the town of Priboy. From here I will have to walk around 3-4 kilometers to the intersection of roads where I will have to turn left to the mountains to get to that Bosnian exclave. I've just made it to a random bus stop and what I noticed is that buses, even local buses between nearby villages here are free. It literally says free routes so free buses Priboy already looks nice it's a small serbian town located close to the border between serbia and bosnia and herzegovina there are some classic yugoslavian high rises that can be found in numerous serbian cities such a lovely street market where you can buy fruits vegetables the town of Priboy is surrounded by mountains somewhere there is the border between serbia montenegro and bosnia and herzegovina even though the distance that I have to walk to the very end of the settlement is not so significant, the gradient here, I must say, San Francisco would be jealous of this gradient. There are some lamps, eaten fans, and some grass. Uh, uh, say what's up? Uh, yes, sir. So passing by this kind of Serbian suburbia, I've just been stopped by a random uh, person. So we just had a small talk and I got some interesting information. So I discovered that in Medjurecia, in this Boston exclave, there's actually no border patrol, no actual border. Even me, as a Russian citizen, can freely enter that territory. Let's say I got some more motivation to uh, finally get there. So let's just keep going. I do like the way they stack hay in Serbia. Look at that. They have a massive stick in the very middle and around that stick is the hay basically so they do not roll it uh, like horizontally they roll it vertically and the very center like the support of this construction is the stick i have finally found an abandoned house this one is entirely ruined and overgrown with grass i believe this water is drinkable so it's okay to fill the supplies of my water it's an interesting bottle 2.5 liters it's sold everywhere in Serbia. Doesn't have any smell. Okay, proper spring water with no special taste. Okay, there it is, guys. We are entering Bosnian exclave. There are no signs that any border exists. No fence, nothing, no border patrol. So currently I'm entering it. Yes, so the border is basically in the middle of the river. And I have just entered this Bosnian exclave. How lovely! It's actually the exclave of Republika Srpska, so probably there is a mixed population of Bosnians and Serbs. Dobar dan. Da li mogu ovde plati KM? KM, mož. I može dinare? Može i dinare, može. A jevra? Jevra, može i jevra. Sve, sve može. Euro, marka, dinara. Koliko to u dinarov? 85 dinara je. Kako se ljudi živi ovde? To znači oni je državljani Bosnije ili Srbije? To je državljani Srbije, ali na ovoj teritoriji Bosnije nije ti pojma, vjerujte. A da li ovde je neki avtobus? Sad nema. Otišao je autobus u 15 do 5 zadnjih za priboj. A kako on jede? Da li on jede preko teritoriju Srpske ili... Pa prolazi kroz Bosnu pa u Srbiju. A, da, razumijem. Znači idete do Vagana je Srbija, pa onda idete dole prema Ustibru je Bosna, pa opet tamo Ustibar Mioče, Uvac Bosna, pa onda imate granicu Bosansku, pa Srbijansku i onda ulaz u Srbiju, u Priboj. So we have already discovered in local grocery store that they accept three currencies, Serbian dinners, Bosnian markets and euro. 
Probably the reason why they accept Euro is because Montenegro is very close to here. There is a lot of transit cars going to Montenegro and in Montenegro you pay Euros. It's kind of the building of local headquarters. It's closed right now, so it's working only six hours a day. And look what it says. It says Republika Serbia Opština Priboj, which means that this is Priboj municipality. This is the municipality of Serbia, even though currently we are technically in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So let's walk a little bit more here and maybe get some more interesting details. Dali mogu napravi malo intervju sa vami? Не хочете? А я слікам відео о Меджуречі, об овом ексклаві, да. І саме ніколіка питання. Тобто нема ніякої границі, нема ніякого контролу, да. І люди, які живі овде, далі вони є державляні Сербії чи державляні Боснії? Єдно і друге. Єдно і друге. Босанське і сербіанське державництво, наприклад, я. Ніх троє живе у Сванточці у Сербії. A ja sam gore, u Bosni imam dva državljanska, srbijansko i bošnjansko, ovo u Bosni. To znači ti platiš poreze u Srbiji, nije u Bosni? Pa plaćamo porez u Bosni. Samo u Bosni ili tako dže u Srbiji? Pa u Bosni. A koliko plus minus nastavnika u ovom naselju? 300, 300, 400, nema više. Ovako što su trenutno, da, ima i dosta što su otišli po Beogradu i po raznim gradima. Da li je neko... neki važni minus života ovdje. I zbog toga što to je eksklav. Pa i nije toliko trenutno. Ljudi rade i tamo i po priboju, pa i tako. O vuda imamo, tu prodavamo su mekaru i tako sve. Malo se zna zbog tri granice. Mi dok do priboja dodimo, treba jedna od četiri granice da prijeđe. Ali ok, dobro. Ok. Ako ovdje ima neka policija, to je srpska policija. Nije bosnijska. Srbijanska, ali... Ja također vidio što mjesna zajednica je u opštini Priboj. Da, da, je. To znači što u nekom smislu to je više Srbije neko Bosnije. Pa i u svakom smislu. Na primjer, škola nam je srbijanska, nalazi se u teritoriji bosnijskih Hrcega. Godavnina je tu ovdje bila kao Bosna i posle ratova 90-ih ostala je ovdje Bosna. A što ljudi radi ovdje, generalno? Da, ovdje poljoprivreda ima, ono mislim, Maline i tako tu, neki radi u Priboju pa putuju i tako tu, neki idu i preko tamo Nemačka i sve to i tako, ima to svega. Dobro, hvala ti za razgovor. Pozdrav. Ciao. Visually, this territory doesn't look different from the rest of the territory of Serbia. The same rural landscape, same houses, same agricultural stuff. If you travel between exclaves, in Central Asia, for example, in certain places you have border controls. Some exclaves are basically just impossible, you cannot get there. But here it's pretty okay, pretty chill. So I'm just planning to get to the very end of this road within this exclave to re-enter Serbia again. All of a sudden I have just encountered the public sign saying that this is the end of the village of Sastavci. But Sastavci is the village in Serbia, which is kind of uh, behind the border. So <laughs> it seems that, well, probably Serbian law applies here in terms of the territory. So if this is a part of this village of Sastavci, in this case we haven't left the territory of Serbia, but we actually did. As you can see, some houses are really, really nice. Actual villas. I see that they grow potatoes, corn, maybe some more vegetables and fruits. I see three, four pumpkins. Or what's that? This looks like the yellow watermelon, but it's probably a young pumpkin. Well, they have a river here, so in case of the complete cutoff of civilization here, they will probably survive for some time because of the water. An obvious question, what kind of mobile network is here? So I'm currently connected to Serbian mobile network and uh, it does not turned on roaming, which means that this is internal service. It's basically we are connected to Serbian network. I have reached the border between Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, but as we can see, there is no border, actually. No border control, nothing, no signs, aside from this public sign to the waterfall and some sort of the settlement. And, uh, well, maybe, maybe this piece of asphalt could be the border. I don't know for sure. 
But that's it anyway. Accidentally found someone's farm. Cannot say for sure what do they plant here. Honestly, looks like tomatoes. So I just decided to walk around this settlement in circle. So I'm climbing to one of the upper streets, which is leading to the mosque. So I just got up the hill. As you can see, people also live here. This is the very, the very outskirts of this village. The road here is unpaved, but this is the exact road leading to the mosque. Not all of the houses here are inhabited for sure. You can already see an abandoned wooden cabin, which is actually suitable for spending the night here, but I wouldn't like to do so. Wow, it's getting a little bit creepy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these trees. So, Upper Street offers us a panoramic view on the majority of the territory of Medjurecce. Just found a house of an introvert. And there is the main attraction of Medjurecce, the mosque looks like a brand new mosque let's try to get inside somehow it's territory surrounded by barbed wire but not entirely there is the passage there's actually the muslim cemetery around the mosque hmm, it's open interesting let's get in a source of water this one is working and this and this. Oh, the mosque is actually closed. Well, sadly, sadly we are not able to get inside. Well, at least they have some electricity. If they do, let's check this out. Great, they do have electricity. So I will definitely spend some time here, approximately 20-30 minutes, to charge my phone. Uh, during this time I will have a dinner, kind of the dinner, and then I will go back to Pripoi. So my dinner has a form of a canned tuna in tomato sauce. A very nice one, there is a lot of fish in this can, and a lot of sauce, actually. Uh, this is Serbian bread, Lepinia, a Coke, and just a bottle of water. So all in all, it must give me some energy to return to Priboy, so five more hours of walking. The distance is not super significant, actually, just 15 kilometers, but you go up and then go down. Okay, I'm crossing back from Bosnia to Serbia. This is the border bridge, as you have just seen the car passed it easily. That's the river splitting two countries. And we are already in Serbia. Zero signs of border. How lovely. 